Tank Destroyer 5 Mission for T-55A. This one is a bit harder, I would say, because you need to destroy two enemy vehicles from the 300 meters or more, and in the same time you need to do 3000 damage. Even though it is definitely doable with a tier 6, tier 7, I would highly recommend to complete this mission with a higher tiers, tier 8, tier 9, tier 10. Um, what do you need to do? You need to take the medium or long range against you and enemies and you need to secure those two kills first if it is possible obviously and after that obviously you need to uh, have a damage dealt. Think about this. If you are playing with a trash burn as an example, you can hit two shots and you can complete mission easy peasy just like this. Um, if you are playing with a Hellcat, you need to hit like 14 shots doing full damage in order to complete it. So here you go. That is the difference uh, how harder it is with the lower tiers against the, against the higher tiers. Um, and this is how I did it. So I made the decision to go with a Chariot tier. Um, it is one of my favorite tier 8 tank destroyers and uh, I feel like I should play only with the tech 3 tanks to complete the mission. So that's what I am doing, right? Um, all in all, once again, the hardest part of all this, if we are speaking about gameplay with the lower tiers, is going to be to get 3000. So, so stay away from the lower tiers, try to play with something... Uh, higher as an example Er Hashem uh, sniper schnitzel or even waffle cock right this is very 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 good tank as well for this mission because you can snipe from the back pretty well and you can do many bad things anyways looking into the game what do we have we have a tier 8 gameplay and we are playing in the fisherman's bay this gameplay is going to look like um snipe from the back situation in a way right i want to be um Away from the enemies uh, to the certain extent, right? Uh, 300 meters plus in this kind of situation we have 350 meters from the snipers over there. But this is very, very good and this is good enough for us. So look at this beauty. Boom. In the face 500 damage. Now, very important thing to say uh, about this tank we are playing with, right? It has extremely nice um, golden high explosive ammunition. Skill, what do you mean by saying this nice golden high explosive ammunition? Look, whenever you are fighting against the tanks who has no armor, as an example, Borat, Scorpion, or whatever else, even the same IS-3, this penetration is more than enough to deal with them. 210 millimeters of penetration is very, very good and it is awesome. So all we need to do, we need to be smart, right? By the way, looks like shell disappeared. No, no, the shell did not disappear. Someone else took one for the team and that is good for our damage score, right? At this point, what we care about, we care about uh, um, destroying enemy forces who are sitting somewhere um, while well, having safe defense parameter. That's the most important thing at this point. I do not really care about the damage, right? I care about the destruction of the enemies. And we are being extremely, extremely patient here. This is what triangle gameplay is all about, especially when you have mission when you cannot be that aggressive. I wish to say I could go in front and kill them all and, you know, be like a um, super baboon. Unfortunately, this is not an easy situation. And as you can see, I am looking around like crazy pigeon <clears throat> and I am trying to make the things work. Oh, hello dear. How are you doing? Beautiful. 200 in the face and the guy is um, getting the free ticket to the garage. Absolutely amazing. One more kill to go. And remember, we have a blind shot. Uh, and you know what? I have a feeling this is not going to be only one blind shot, if you know what I mean. At this point, I am considering where enemies could sit and what I supposed to do. As you can see, I am using the third person zoom and I am thinking, hmm, do I want to go for some blind shots or I do not want to go for it? Look how many triangles enemies has. Um, pretty much every bush over there is fulfilled of them, right? Um... And in fact, I am checking the things out, right? I am thinking what I'm supposed to do in this kind of situation. We have ELC who is sitting in the back and he is uh, obviously spotting for us whenever enemies are firing. But if enemies doesn't, 
Then we need to figure out what we're supposed to do and blind shots are just great for that. I am considering do I want to shoot, I don't want to shoot, do I want to shoot, I don't want to shoot. Now I'm trying to calculate um, where I want to go. And I am thinking yeah we can go here and you know what? <laughs> He's magically tracked. What happened fellas? He got spotted randomly. Well here you go. This is how calculation is looking like in our head, right? Um, fellas, you are missing every single shot you are not taking, right? So if you feel like you are sitting somewhere near the red line, just simply go for some blind shots. Some blind shots to the left, some blind shots to the right. Yes, obviously you will pay the credits for those blind shots. But after the game, I cannot uh, tell you how many times I had a situation when... Uh, on the paper I see 1000 damage in the end of the game we have like 3000 or something like this. It is just a good thing uh, um, to play the game and this is how World of Tanks are looking like nowadays. Also extremely important thing to say. Nowadays it is kind of common to go to the blind shots. Whenever all this stuff started, um, I remember I used to play in 2016 and in fact in 2012 when I was traveling like a tourist with an um, erased gun, right? I haven't seen the blind shots back in the days. Nowadays, everyone is blind shooting and that's good. That means people are adapting and um, overall it is a great situation, right? Now, looking into all of this, we still need to kill one tank from the distance bigger than uh, um, 300 meters. This is a bit of an annoying thing and this blind shot kind of costed me uh, elimination of the scorpion. At least that's what I want to believe. At this point, my but starts hurting a bit and I am thinking okay how I could get involved into this situation because so far fellas we do not have that many things done right and this is a problem so I am like a hawk waiting here until enemies will make one or another mistake obviously Škoda decided to be a bit aggressive and we are going to leave this guy for now you know one thing we have two blind shots or at least two blind shots right that's what we know but it doesn't change the fact we need to uh, to kill someone from the distance right so we are being focused up to the 100 percent here we are just waiting until enemies will make silly goose mistake look at our rudis i would be in his place if not this mission i would go in front and i would farm the sweet 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 assisting damage okay pay attention what is happening unfortunately we do not have a good angle please as one make a mistake and oh no okay this is not looking great fellas but but su 100 is still somewhere here in the back let's wait maybe we can eliminate him from the game who knows no mr su are you sitting somewhere in the back? Please tell me you are sitting somewhere in the back. And our Su is in front as well. Please, 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 please. I need to kill. I need to kill. Bam. Killing shot. Excellent. Now, even though it looks like we are very far away and pretty much it is impossible to complete this mission. It's not necessarily the case. Remember, we have two blind shots. So now we need to find enemy Škoda T-56. This is very, very important. I pretty much need to uh, claim his line fully. If I won't do that, unfortunately, mission is going to be completed only with a primary uh, condition, which is not good enough. Right? I want to fully complete it. Meanwhile, Škoda was waiting for me on the corner. We are spanking him and now Scorpion is going to kill Škoda, right? No, false. Škoda was waiting for that poor Scorpion. Beautiful. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Also, our T-34 slash 3 derped his shot and here we go. We claim it Škoda. We have 2.4 visible. Let's see how the score is looking like. Remember, fellas, me rambling. You are missing every single shot you do not take. Pay attention to this. 3.7 thousand damage, even though on the paper we had like 2,000 or something. Those blind shots pretty much made us to complete this mission. Thank you very much. And this is important thing to say. All in all, we finish it with a first class. We finish it with a sniper schnitzel. Uh, medal. We are first by experience, we are first by the damage and we lost a bit of the credits, but it doesn't really matter, it's not about that. So, here you go fellas, charioteer work just fine for this mission. It wasn't easy, but as you can see, it was doable. That's what I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon and good luck with your missions fellas. Peace.